I just finished a couple of hours session playing Modern Warfare 3. I got a chance to play all three modes of the game and here's my review of it. I want to start off with zombies. This year they marketed the new zombies mode as an open world thing as if it was completely reinvented. After several sessions of playing it, it's just DMZ with different settings. For those of you that remember the original Black Ops Battle Royale mode where you had some sections of the map with zombies, this is the other way around. You have a lot of zombies on the map with small enclaves of gun wielding bots in some corners of the map. This is not a reduction mistake. This is literally zombies in DMZ. It has several bosses, unique characters, some weapons on the wall, a few pack a punches and mystery boxes, and exfil points when you're finished. That's it, it just seems like they turned on more bots that are zombies than gun wielding bots. This should honestly been a free DMZ expansion or a separate mode for Modern Warfare 2. It's not that awful and you can definitely get some zombies actions, but it's not on the level of Treyarch zombies. After playing it for a while I've noticed there are three levels of zombies with each making them a bit more tankier than the other and a few bosses that would take you around 600 bullets of an AR to take down. I admit I don't play Warzone or DMC a lot but the loading interface is really unintuitive and cumbersome and I can't imagine navigating it using a controller. I'd give DMZ zombies an average 5 out of 10 uninspired reselling of assets and it is saved only by the fun gameplay loop of zombies. Moving on to multiplayer I've had the chance to play the revamped Modern Warfare 2 maps. As someone who played the original maps I don't really like the revamped look, it really fails to bring out the nostalgia in me and sometimes I found myself completely lost for a few seconds in maps that I had thousands of hours in 14 years ago and I know by heart. There are several new game modes, most notably the war mode which I really liked in Call of Duty World War 2. It can provide a decent challenging objective gameplay and requires good amount of coordination with your teammates. It could at times feel like you're playing a normal campaign mission only in multiplayer, but that's until you see one of those ridiculous skins that Call of Duty keeps selling and people for some reason keep buying and it completely takes you out of it. It also does a good job of using old classic Call of Duty maps in the mode, that's the only good addition that Sledgehammer have ever brought to the series. I also got a chance to play around with some of the new weapons and the perks but you sadly don't get a lot of them in the beginning so everyone is pretty much stuck with the same setup unless you have all the weapons from Modern Warfare 2 maxed out. I do have those weapons and honestly I don't know how I feel about it because it's always nice to have more weapons for variety but it always reminds me that this game was supposed to be DLC. The gunplay is okay but the skill based matchmaking just kicks my ass, changing together 4 kills for a simple UAV is the most I'll do on an average game. You do get a one off easy lobby every once in a while, probably after your MMR dips, but after that it's back to pure sweat. I'd give the multiplayer an average 5 out of 10, it's being heavily carried by decent movement mechanics good gunplay and the war mode which gives me some hope for the future. For a review of the campaign you can jump to an older video on the channel which is linked right now on the video, I had a chance to play it early because of the early release for pre-orders, it was completely awful. Considering all of the things I mentioned by now, the $70 price tag and the god awful campaign, I would give this game a 3 out of 10. There is no reason to buy it unless it's on a 50% sale and you never played Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. If I could refund the game I would do it instantly, but sadly I have too much playtime because of the review videos I made of it. This is probably the worst Call of Duty game and it's quite unique in its awfulness because the other awful Call of Duty games were given enough development time to create something but they failed. This Call of Duty is just cobbled up mess and a converted DLC trying to get $70 out of it. This release destroys the reputation of the Modern Warfare series and the series of Call of Duty as a whole, it could have easily killed a weaker franchise. If it was the Battlefield franchise, having such an awful showing would probably be the final nail in the coffin of the series. Please do not pay $70 for this game unless you make money or content out of it, or in the case that you never played Modern Warfare 2 and it's on an extreme sale of at least 50% off.